All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the TSL4 Qualifiers number four. We're in the round of eight here, and Amaro decided to change his color. Oh, you. Oh, you. And they decided to switch sides. All right, I had to, I had to change up the scoreboard really quickly here, guys. Give me just a second. Amaro. Blue. Zerg. Select. Red, Terran, and select is up one up. Yes, he is. Are you surprised or aren't you in the bottom left-hand location? The Blizzard player Morrow, representing Team Mouse Sports, has to win two in a row to defeat Select and advance to the semifinals or the round of four in this fourth TSL qualifier on the EU NA server. This one's on the NA server. Top right-hand location, we have Morrow's opponent. The Red Terran player one game away from advancing to the semifinals. His name is Select, representing Team Dignitas. In the last game, we saw Select go for a two racks opening, 11-11. Mara was able to defend it off quite easily, but then Select kept sending Marine Force after Marine Force. Mara never went in Festers. That was a good point. He never went up to Hive. Um, there's a lot of things to say about that game. I can't make any too drastic. Like if he did, if he did a certain thing, um, how much would that have? Ch Select. Oh, you. This is gonna get scouted though, right? Oh no. Uh. Select. Why? Why are you doing this? Okay, Select's gonna go for it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with that decision. Um, the question is, is Morrow gonna be able to scout this out? In, in last game, this happened tomorrow. Morrow was able to hold it off fairly well. Probably counting the SCVs. He's like, hey, wait a second. What's going on here? We have an SCV already making a drone. Morrow does not know this is going on. Will Morrow be prepared? That's the question. Are any SC additional SCVs going to be going to be pulled here? Not just yet. Morrow's still scrambling, trying to find where is my opponent. Here are some drones. Finally, a drone going to scout this out. But is it too little, too late? Bunker going to finish up here. A drones, a lot of drones being pulled here from Morrow to try to deal with it, going straight to the barracks across the map. Oh gosh. I have to do something real quick. Excuse me. Uh, I'll be back. I promise. Oh no. Where'd it go? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Select continuing to leapfrog these bunkers, and what is Marl gonna do here? He's pulling drones to attack these barracks. I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna call. I'm just trying to find those marines as they as they spawn out of there, kill them right away so they can't reinforce. I guess I'm okay with that plan. Record, we're gonna finish it and be out uh -oh. and end with tour. You know how it goes. That's really unfortunate. And really annoying. Drone still trying to keep these Marines from select from reinforcing these bunkers, and that's a great call, but is it going to be enough? An SCV going to try to repair this bunker. Marine is inside. Three Marines trying to join, and I'm just going to close that window because that's just incredibly annoying. Bunker barely low in health. No SCVs to repair, but there's still two other bunkers here. Select gets Marines inside. What's going on back here? Drones still trying to take down Marines as they leave, and I love the strategy from Morrow going after the reinforcing Marines, but there's still this bunker that has a Marine inside. Select's gonna back up with these four Marines to try to deal with these bunkers, with these drones and these Zerglings. And... <laughs> this game is actually crazy. So this bunker gonna be cleaned up, and Morrow has so many Lings on the field. Oh my god. Oh boy. Okay. Well, Select going for it right now. Will he have enough? That's a lot of lings on the field. Select has to position his Marines perfectly to deal with this. SCVs coming forward as well. And it's <laughs> SCVs and Marines against all these Zerglings. It looks like Select should be able to clean up these lings, but will Morrow have enough back home to defend against the, the inevitable incoming push? There is a spine crawler somewhere. Looks like it's in the main base of Morrow. Morrow has played this incredibly well thus far. Select repairing his own SCVs. Not bad at all. Not a bad decision. 
has to advance right into the main base, knows the chances of his opponent trying to regroup in his main base are very high. A lot of lings on the way here from Morrow. There's a spine crawler complete, and Morrow pulling all of his drones. I don't think this looks good for Select. Morrow looks extremely strong at this point in time. Select trying to back up into a corner using hold position micro to keep those SCVs in place and try to prevent the drones and lings from attacking those marines, but Select is not going to have enough. Mar, I don't think he is. Yes, Morrow's going to overwhelm that army. Uh, and Morrow down to 16 harvesters. Are we going to get to a situation where we're going to have both these players tra transition? Because this is getting kind of crazy. Control R shows 13 to 6 in favor of Morrow. Income tab 11 to 10. <laughs> uh, fairly even. The bunker gets completed on the high ground. Morrow's going to start pecking away at that. But this is a crazy game thus far. And I hate not having two monitors, so... Excuse the uh, the early game shenaniganry that happened on the stream, but... Spinecrawl is now done from Morrow here on the low ground. Not many marines on the field here for select. And Morrow's gonna go straight for these barracks. Still no gas being... T Actually, I think a gas has been taken. No... It has, but it hasn't been mined from. Because speed is not on the way. Uh, Morrow, of course, trying to get his, his drone count back up. Select doing the exact same thing. And at what point do you bring these barracks with you? Because, you, I mean, honestly, Select is having to keep retreating with these Marines to defend these barracks. At what point do you lift them and just bring them with your Marine squadron? Um, I don't know. You know, lift them overhead and then land them in your opponent's base and protect them. Create your own chokes and stuff. I think that could be effective. Morrow adding on some additional links. It feels like he has droned enough. Select coming forward here, trying to end his opponent. Get a target fire down that spine collar with all the Marines he has. Can Morrow even engage this? Only has slow links. Keep that in mind. Adding four more in production. There's a queen on the way at his natural expansion. Potipo taking out Spinecrawler, trying to do as much damage as they can, but it's a lot of Marines. The Spinecrawler getting dangerously low in health. Are any transfusers available? I don't see a Queen nearby. Select sending his weakened Marines into the back. Very cute micro going on by both these players. Select takes out the Spinecrawler. Now it's just going to micro away from these slowlings. And especially for it again, this, this aggression is absolutely relentless, but Maro able to hold it off each time, but just barely. Behind this, keep in mind, Select adding on his natural command center. It just now completed. There are actually Marines, or St. Ling's attacking the supply depot. Select is repairing the supply depots with SEVs. Morrow continuing to try to engage here, now pulling drones again. Getting this around on a lot of the Marines, but Select wiggling out of there. And it looks like Select is going to have enough trying to micro these drones, desperately trying to do what damage they can do. Um, but. Select has its supply lead 28 to 27. Morrow adding on 12 more links. Has those injects available, but Select ahead 20 to 14 in the harvest count. Select, are you going to transition? Are you going to <laughs> return your barracks all the way back to your base? Finally adding a couple barracks back home. These SCVs on auto repair. Causing Select to infinitely lose a couple minerals here and there. Another engagement going to have in your select trying to back up to these barracks. Link's trying to get a surround. Uh, get a surround on two of them, but select getting behind this Vespine Geyser. Trying to get more two more Marines on the field. And it looks like Morrow finally going to clean up these Marines, maybe? Select marking like a hero, but at what point do you lift off and go home? Seven more drones in production for Morrow. He's definitely not out of this game just yet, but this is one of the crazier games I've seen. We're at the 13 minute mark, and. Our income is 24 to 23. A lot of Zerg players are maxed at this point, usually, the 13 minute mark. Uh, and Morrow's at 33 supply. Shows how back and forth this game has been in the early game. Again, this is the round of f eight. The winner of this series will advance to the round of four. Look at the average APM from Select, 181. It's been doing a lot of microing. But now, are we transitioning into normal scenes? That's what ha is that what's happening here? Uh, two barracks making the walk of shame all the way back home. One is going to die unless a mule is called down to help uh, to help save it. 
It's down to 28 HP. No, it is dead. Goodbye, barracks. And the debris is going to fall on the lanes. Ouch. So, select. Moving as command center over to his natural expansion bunker being made as well. Uh, and we're in somewhat of a state of normalcy. Let's list 33 to 30 in the harvest account. Uh, we have a baneling nest on the way as well as an evolution chamber. Two lanes trying to be annoying, but they are going to die. And select. Has a bunker built on the low ground, which should be just fine uh, for now. So, this is so... Okay. We're at 15 minutes, and I feel like they're relatively even. Is that crazy to say? Take advantage. I don't think anyone has one. Stim is on the way. We have a baneling nest on the way for tomorrow. Adding on his third. Income tab. 35 to 33. Not too far apart in that regard. But you got to consider the Terran has those mules. So, again, pretty even. 1,300, 10,000. Uh, but once a mule is thrown down, maybe that goes higher. Baneling nest just now finished. We have speed on the way as well from tomorrow. Also adding on a second gas, third and fourth gas. Wow, this game is kind of crazy. Two supply depots here on the way for select. So starting off that wall if it's natural expansion, which I really like it, really like it. Most Terrans need to do this. Honestly, your third as well. Just get a supply wall going right outside your third base. Really helps defend against any potential counterattacks. And again, you can lower them and raise them as you please. You can pretend you're like in a fancy hotel and your base is the fancy hotel and the supply depot is that, that red line, that red um, connector thing. What do you call them? And you, the, the the bouncer like removes the red velvet, like, what is it called? Fence thing? It's not a fence, but it's like uh, the, the divider thing. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, you can pretend the supply depots are your bouncers and only the cool people get in. It'll help inspire you to, to make the walls like that. And it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of cool. Ever played The Sims? Some fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, where where are we? Where we've devolved into, into talking about The Sims. We're, we're at the 17-minute mark of a game, and we're just now seeing a layer. We're just now seeing Stim complete. We're just now seeing a couple medevacs on the field. The question is, who's going to be the one to provide aggression? Now, this is the interesting part of StarCraft 2. I feel like situations like this... They don't happen. They don't happen too often, right? So who's to say who's ahead, as far as from Mars' point of view and as far as from Select's point of view? They don't know. Select could think he's ahead. Mars could think he's ahead. Do we know who's ahead? No. We can have theories. Sixty-seven to forty-five in favor of Mars. Uh, he has one one on the way, but Stim is complete for Select, and he has two medevacs on the field. So, is this going to be a scary, a scary push incoming from him? We also have Siege Mode on the way, as well as a couple tanks being produced out of that lone factory. Additional bunker being made at Force Select, being as safe as he can. I love this. Just sending one squadron forward so his, uh, his, his reinforcements don't get picked off. And going to have another army back here in case he wants to push again a little bit later. Another great thing about this push from Select is the fact that, if it fails, he can simply lift off and run away. Now there is a spire on the field for Morrow, so once that completes, it could be pretty scary for those medevacs. But uh, this is the meters have to get on the field, and Select's going to try to engage here. Balin's coming forward here for Morrow, sending the links back to try to get a surround on the Marines. But there we go. See ya. Actually, there's some decent connections there from those Balin's of Morrow, and a lot of Marines getting taken out there. Units lost shows. Look at that, completely even. Four thousand to four thousand. Axel Tosh, you're a liar. It's four thousand to thirty-eight, eight eighty-two. You're right. They're not. Com they're, they're relatively even, considering where we're on the game. Lift up and go. Very easy. All right. What happens here? We have three mut mutas on the way again. Morrow sticking to this muta ling baneling composition. We saw this in the last. Uh, we saw this in the last game where Morrow went the entire game. He never went in festers, which was intriguing. He got two two, but never ended up getting the hive to go to three three. He stayed on 2-2 the entire... He never got a high that entire game, last game. And it went about 30 minutes. Select got himself to 3-3 on the Marines, and it proved to be just too much for Morrow to handle. Is that going to happen in this game again? We'll have to keep an eye on that. An eye on the infestor infestation pit timing from Morrow. He does have all six gases, but again, using most of his gas on that middle's count. Medivac coming forward, you're going to have to drop those Marines. That Medivac's going to die. One ring gets out, two ring gets out, three... Four Marines get out, but they don't do any damage whatsoever. Engagement might happen pretty soon here. Select sieging up his tanks, but Morrow ahead and supply 160 to 114. Looking for that engagement. The target fire the Marines with the target fire the tanks with the Mutas, or at least he's trying to. Stimming forward is select with those Marines, but Morrow getting out of there. 
Might go for a counterattack here and select my catch wind of this. Uh, he has a third on the field. Yes, he is. Moving that over to his third base. Marl going to try to engage with these mutas, but his marines riddling them apart. Not the best engagement there for Marl. Great engagement there for Select. Units lost, still relatively even. Morrow is going to be a little, bit, a little bit behind there. 5,600 to 4,600. Morrow looking for an engagement once again. Select can't get taken off guard. Where's the siege? Is sieging up. Nice, nice reaction there from Select. Still trying to get that command center over there, but are the mutas going to let that happen? For now, they might. Morrow trying to take position. How can I engage this Terran army? Looks like he might retreat to his side of the map. Eight Marines in this meta from selecting to try to drop, and Marl sending his entire army to deal with this. Which means the third from select is going to get up just fine. Spring Renderback Squadron going to get killed by Marl. Marl is maxed. Income tab shows 89, and he's going up to 99 Harvesters, ladies and gentlemen. And again, if you're just now joining us, this is the TSL Qualifier number 4 on the North American server. This is the round of 8 to match between Select and Morrow. Best of 3, Select 1 away from advancing to the semifinals of this tournament. We are live right now with a 5 minute stream delay. I could type something, these players would see it. I could pause the game, but that would be bad manner, and then these players would be paused. This is not a replay, this is live. Morrow engaging into the third base of Select, and Select completely unprepared for this, evacuating away with those SEVs, Marines, uh, Lings targeting those down. Select sieging up his tank, and Morrow not going to engage that. Marines stemming forward here to try to protect this command center. SEVs returning to repair as well. Morrow deciding he wants to engage, is going to peel away a Bane to explode into that squadron with that pack of SEVs. No, he's not. The command center staying alive just barely at 100 energy. Oh, it does go down. And Morrow streaming into Select's natural expansion. Is this going to go to a Game 3? Morrow in complete control of this game. Up 170 to 82 supply. There is a drop at the top left hand side of the map. That hatchery will get taken out. But Muta's destroying the mineral lines of Select at the moment. Morrow looking incredibly good. But again, that hatchery does get taken out. He's going to rebuild that immediately. Marines even, giving, Marines even getting picked up. Select, dry in his main base. Natural expansion, getting there. Morrow, so many units on the map here. Lings, actually a lot of drones are long distance mining. Uh, gets his hatchery up in the middle of the map. Something's hitting something. I heard something. What was it? Perhaps this medevac getting getting uh, swatted at by that queen. Uh, but Morrow, again, well ahead in supply, 194 to 82, and what does Select do from here? Going to try to take that third again. Upgrades, how are they doing? 2-2, two, two, about to finish for Select. For Morrow, he's at 2-2 two, two already. Still, no infestation pit, not even thinking about getting that hive. Staying on layer tech forever. But it seems to be working out just nice for him. I feel like eventually, once you get a ridiculous bank and you're maxed, uh, might be okay to invest in the infestation pit. <laughs> Uh, and probably the 3-3 upgrades in the Hive and the Ecotrino Glands and Ultra, uh, Ultralisk Cavern or Den, whatever you want to call it. And there's Ultralisks. Mar looks like he wants to engage again. Select. Doesn't have too many units on the field. He needs to siege up those tanks. Exactly what he's going to do. He has a lot of space to defend here. Not only this natural expansion, but this this path leading into the third. Mar going to engage that right away. Two SCVs is going to get killed immediately trying to build their homes. Selecting a gauge with a couple of marines, but this orbital must be lifted. These SCVs are probably all going to die. Retreating back to the natural expansion as fast as they can. Mario just fine with this. Targeting down that command center once again with the mutas, and it will fall. What does Select do here? Trying to engage again. Needs to have immaculate marine splitting, but trying to back away to the defenses of those tanks. And Mario just going to back away. Not going to give that engagement to Select. All he's trying to do here, deny additional expansions from his opponent while taking expansions of his own. That's a great way to play StarCraft 2. Mario is max. 200. 199 added 200. 40 lings on the way. Has a hive on the way as well. Pathogen glance in. Oh my god. 41 banelings in production for Morrow. He's going to be up at 3,500 in the bank. Select scans and sees the scariness. Sieging up his tanks preemptively. But Morrow's going to go for it. So many banelings in this composition here from Morrow. Going to explode into these units from Select. And Select does not have enough. And there's the GG SEVs. <laughs> about to run to their death. I wanted to see them explode, but they're not going to. And we're going to be advancing on to game number three in Ace Match between Morrow and Select. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to play a commercial, but I'll be in the middle of another game, so I'll try to scramble to do that. I don't know how to do that optimally. I'll try to figure it out, but I'll see y'all in a bit with game number three between Morrow and Select.